Today, I will demonstrate launch X431V test and introduce some functions of X431V for you. First of all, turn on the ignition. Plug the OBD Bluetooth adapter into the car. Generally, the OBD diagnostic port is under the driver's seat. For some cars like French PSA Peugeot Citroen, it is in the central control position. Now, we plug the OBD Bluetooth adapter. Open the app on the tablet that is already installed. The first one is Intelligent Diagnose. It can scan the car automatically. Before entering Intelligent Diagnose, you must connect the device to the internet and log in the account. The second one is Local Diagnose. That means please download all the model software to the tablet and use it locally without connecting to the internet. The third menu is Software Update. You also need to register and log in before upgrading. For the prompt showing file in main lab, file software can be updated. Then you can update it. The next one is Diagnostic History. It recorded what you have done for specific car models before. The next option, Reset, is a special function. There are 15 reset functions including electronic parking brake reset, oil reset, steering angle sensor calibration, ABS bleeding, in mode, DPF regeneration, sunroof initialization, L suspension programming, etc. There are 15 special functions in total. The next menu is Remote Diagnose. If you don't know how to repair the car, you can contact online technicians through it to help you diagnose your vehicle remotely. The next one option is Feedback. In the process for testing, if you can tell us to encounter other problems, you are allowed to submit logs in testing to the launch server. Then the engineers will analyze and find out problems to help you solve it. And this one. Enter and you can see some user menus. Then DTCS inquiry. If you don't know the specific meaning of four codes, it can help you understand them in detail. And you can enter maintenance. There are some cases for your reference. And this user info. And vehicle coverage allows users to search the work for specific car model and year. We can enter to have a look. Click on it. The first one is how land programming. These are the workable models and the year range. It covers all. All the other functions. Now we enter local diagnose menu. What we connect is a Honda Accord and the Honda. Click on OK. Now the device is communicating via Bluetooth. Choose the first one, system pin.
Now we have all the car info. Click on OK. Manually select the control module. There are about dozens of control units that you can test. Select NG module. Now we read out the module ID, click on OK. The first one is ECU information and some information is read out just now. Read four codes and clear four codes. ECM PCM reset. Read data string, rephrase frame, action test and special functions. It covers a VIN number in the special function menu. ECM PCM module replacement and electronic sort of bottle relearn. Now let's read data stream first, just select it manually. Choose all. Start engine first. Then read the data to see if there is any change. Click on OK. For this kind of icon, you can click on it for its waveform. Then exit. Enter graph and we can view the waveform of eight items at a time. And change the waveform. These waveforms are normal. You can click here to generate a diagnostic report. Exit. Read four codes. We got four codes. This is how manual. You can explain four codes and help you understand them to repair the vehicle. Also, we can click here to generate the diagnosis report. Save it. Exit. That's all. Thank you for watching.